Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we will learn the basics of compression test simulation of concrete concrete cylinder using Abacus. We will use the main tools of our Abacus to simulate and get the maximum force to reach the failure of our specimen. We will also use the concrete damage plasticity as model as model of our concrete to represent the failure of our material concrete let's get started let's start with creating of our concrete compression test specimen cylinder specimen and the 3d deformable solid extrusion and click continue now create circle with radius equal to 75 millimeter in the radius seventy five and click click done now we have we need to add three hundred millimeter in height of our specimen okay now we have our concrete that's test specimen let's go to create our two pins for applying and applying load and supporting our specimen pin it's 3d deformable let's create as a rigid part solid extrusion click continue and also we need to add the same radius in this part click on and add 20 millimeter in the width now we have this rigid part and cylinder of our concrete specimen in the pin we need to change this solid part to hollow part using create shell from solid create shell from solid select part click on now we have a hollow part for our rigid analytic for this part let's go to create reference point to apply our boundary condition the first reference point just one click done now let's go to property module and we need to import our material library from another library go to material library concrete to library select select material and copy material from material library to our model click now we have the material in our model let's edit this material edit we have density with unit of ton per millimeter cube and we have also our dimensions of our parts in millimeter and also we have Young's modulus and push rinse ratio Young modulus in pika pascal and also we have concrete damage plasticity with these parameters there and also we have concrete compression damage okay and tension concrete damage concrete tension damage click ok now let's go to create click ok create section of concrete section concrete solid excel homogeneous continue select material click ok and let's assign our material section to our cylinder specimen let's click on and go to select this section click click on 
Now let's go to assembly module. Select create instance. Select two parts. The first two part. Click apply, and we need to add, to add another pin. Apply. Now let's let's translate this upper part upper pin to the right position. Select part. Click on select starting point. We need to to translate this point from this part to this point in this part. Let's click there. Click OK. Now this pin in the right position. Now let's move and translate also the upper pin. Click upper pin. Let's move this point to this point. Now we have all parts in the right position. Now let's go to step, create step, create analytical static general step, continue and click and enable on for nonlinear geometry because we have failure and nonlinear material in our model increments. Click OK. Now we have big value. Now let's go to history file output, file output, click edit, and we need to select the failure contours for our material, our concrete material, damage compression and tensile damage. Let's go to select these two value and also go to status, file output status and click OK. Now let's create reference point or create set point in this reference point to get the force displacement curve tool set create curve curve point click continue and select this reference point click done now let's go to history output and create a new one and Please continue. Let's select the displacement and the reaction force in the Z direction, in the, uh, the direction, displacement. Let's select the set before, curve point. We need in this point, curve point, this set, we need to get the displacement in the Z direction, and also we need to get the reaction force in the z direction we have these two data we need to get from this point in the upper model click ok click dismiss let's go to interaction module and create interaction property in the contact between the upper pin and the specimen and also between the lower pin and the specimen Compost uh, concrete. Let's create con property contact. Let's select tangential behavior and also normal behavior. Let's delete tangential behavior for now. Click OK. Let's go to create interaction. The first interaction between two surfaces let's click initial step between two surfaces the first surface is the upper surface of our cylinder and the bottom surface of our upper pin let's do that cylinder replace now we have we need to contact between these surface surface with 
other surface let's select surface click on and select surface and reverse and select this surface click on we need to use the brown surface click brown surface and we have these two surface the main surface and the secondary surface let's switch between these two surfaces because the upper pin is a rigid body their surface should be the main surface and other surface secondary surface is surface of the our specimen our cylinder click ok now let's do the same thing with the lower pin create contact interaction to surface to surface click continue select the main surface select the main surface select click down the brown side of the surface and surface the secondary surface select these this bottom surface of our cylinder click on as secondary surface now we have secondary surface the bottom surface of our cylinder click with the interaction property click ok now let's rep represent all parts now we have all interaction in this in our model let's go to load and apply boundary condition in our model the first we need to uncaster the lower pin click continue select reference point for this part click done and click uncaster for avoiding all movement in all directions now let's go to initial step displacement rotation click continue and select the reference point of upper pin click on and select all movement in all direction without selecting the displacement in the z direction click ok because we need to add displacement in z direction in the step load create other other load in step one displacement rotation click continue and select reference point of our upper pin click done and now select displacement in the z direction minus one millimeter okay and now we have all boundary condition in our model let's go to mesh module and mesh our cylinder let's add five millimeter apply okay mesh yes now let's mesh our pin 10 millimeter apply okay mesh yes now we have all parts meshed in our module let's go to edit our mesh for cylinder assign element type we have standard linear reduced integration let's add element deletion and maximum degradation 0 0.55 5 click okay now let's go to job module and create our job 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 one completion test new and click okay first let's check our model data check for checking if we have any errors of any problems in our model checking check submitted running check 
it's take time to verify our model completed let's continue our process continue click ok we have aborted result but we have a result in we have in data in our simulation this is the model let's hide exterior edge okay we have stresses in our specimen Let's plot contour of damage compression. Damage in compression stress. And also we have damage in tension stresses. Now let's let's plot our force displacement, special displacement in the direction C and reaction force in this direction. Click plot. Save as as is. Click OK. Now we have data of force and displacement in our model let's plot the curve of force displacement operate on xy data click continue combine and displacement reaction force and also we need to add reverse these data plot and now we have the force displacement curve of our test of our completion test now we have completed test of or completed simulation of compression compression test of concrete specimen cylinder i hope you enjoy with this video don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.